Hey everyone, welcome back to Kev's Draw Along. This week I am very excited to be drawing one of my favourite characters, the man without fear himself, Daredevil. Blind Lawyer Matt Murdock was created by Stan Lee and Bill Everett with some input on his design from Jack Kirby and first appeared in Daredevil issue 1 in 1964. Originally, Daredevil was a swashbuckling character before Frank Miller took over the writing duties of the book in the early 1980s, turning Old Hornhead Head's book into something more akin to a crime noir than an adventure book. Frank Miller introduced characters such as Electra, Stick and The Hand. He also brought in Spidey villain The Kingpin to be Daredevil's main antagonist. Miller's run culminates in the fantastic Daredevil Born Again storyline, illustrated by David Mazzucchelli. Since Frank Miller's time on the book, Daredevil has gone on to be written and illustrated by some of the best talents in the comic industry, cementing him as one of the most interesting characters in Marvel and superhero comics in general. So, now that we know a bit more about Daredevil, let's draw the man without fear. Okay, as always, we start with the head. Today we're going to be using like kind of different um, angles um, for the body. We're going to do a lot of foreshortening. Um, I'll post something on the screen now for you to have a look at um, where we move those shapes around. So, you know, like um, the rib cage, we use an oval shape. If you've watched some of the earlier videos, I pointed this out. Um, that reminds me, I should probably do a full video on just anatomy but I'll get to doing that so we've got some foreshortening going on so we got that front leg um, forward and bent and we've got the back leg uh, kind of shooting back behind him so here we go this is what I'm talking about with the oval shapes so you can see it's kind of slanted um, the shoulders uh, the top is wider than the bottom in. I used a uh, kind of rectangle shape there as well um, for the forearm sometimes it makes it easier to round off in with the foot back leg as you can see um, if you've watched these videos for a while now uh, I don't stick to one part, I zip around the drawing quite a bit. That's just in case I forget anything. Let's go in with the pencils. So this is where I'm going to start adding the musculature. Again, if you want me to do a full video on kind of anatomy, let, let me know. I know I've done a bit of an anatomy series, I need to do um, body proportions. Going in with the legs. And the hand there. So, a tip about when drawing Daredevil, and drawing characters in general. If you're gonna draw a character, you kinda gotta do the characters kind of, um, abilities accentuate them John Romita Jr. John Romita Jr. sorry John Romita Sr. said uh, once if you're going to draw a character like Spider-Man have him doing something spider-like Daredevil is an acrobatic character he's a um, yeah he's an acrobat um, have him doing acrobatic things um, he's also an intimidating character so if you're going to draw him kind of standing in a uh, alleyway or something you gotta make him look intimidating so when you draw these sort of characters think about um the character's uh, personality traits and how you can incorporate that in their body language so again daredevil's face here he can be quite grim and gritty uh, so he's going to be grimacing Again, I'm using a technical pen for this image. And go in here, add a little bit of stubble. 
again Daredevil's a down on his luck kind of character so he hasn't got much time to shave. Making sure, so we see on the um, gloves and the boots, make sure the curve is the right way. So if it's going, coming towards you, it'll be kind of curving upwards. And if it's going away from you, it'll be curving downwards. Right, now onto the shadowing. Daredevil's suit is kind of a, kind of annoying for shadow. So everything apart from the gloves is, the, the shoes and the gloves is kind of reflective. So you go in and add a lot of shadowing. See I'm using some cross hatching as well here. Another thing I do with the another good thing about uh, digital inking is we can kind of cut in with the eraser tool. If you're going to do this traditionally, what they used to do is when they inked the comics, and you can see like um oh who is it? Is it Scott Hanna? who inks Jim Lee's work, it'll go in with a razor blade and that's how they got that kind of scratchy white mark on um, the ink. They used to go in with a razor blade and kind of scratch onto the ink. Again, when you're choosing your, your, your shadowing, think of where your light source is coming from. So here's light sources uh, overhead. So anything that's um, underneath is going to be darker. Again, this thing with this cross hatching, so like on the fingers just there. If it's, I want to emphasize that there's shadow there, but not too, it's not too much in shadow. I'll use this cross hatching. If it's deep shadow, I'll use um, just blocks of black. So there on the boot, because the boot's not as reflective, I thought I'll just add this kind of just these lines to represent shadow. Okay, now we're nearing the end of the inking stage. Let's just uh, go through this. Adding those block blacks. That leg's behind, so it's gonna be in deeper shadow. There we go, we have him fully inked. And now onto the colouring. So I didn't bother showing you the uh, flat flat stage. That's what it's called when it doesn't have any shade on it. It's the flats. And if you want to know how I do the flats, all I do, open up a new layer underneath the ink layer, get the lasso tool, uh, lasso it all, and drop the uh, colours into the lassoed uh, selected area. So again, what I'm doing, I'm going in with my, still using the technical pen here, and I've just picked lighter colour, so I'll go in with the highlights first. And then start adding, yeah, still highlights here, just different shades. And then going in with my low lights, my shadows. Uh, 
always thought Daredevil's costume is like one of the coolest in the comics, but I feel like it was really hard to translate to screen. I like the uh, Charlie Cox version of it, but if you've seen that Ben Affleck Daredevil, uh, yeah, that's uh, that wasn't a good adaptation of the suit. Now I'm uh, on the uh, blending stage. Again, just use a blending tool. I think I used a airbrush. Yeah, definitely used an airbrush. So for the airbrush, you get kind of a softer blend. Can change. You can change the opacity on your airbrush as on your um, blending brush as well. So it changes how well the um, colors blend in together change the sizes as well to just to get into little little areas find some reflection on those eye lenses lastly I'll go in and I'll color in the skin Again, I'll put a breakdown of this on Instagram. And there we go, we have our Daredevil. Okay, if you've drawn along, as always, please post that, send your pictures to me at Kwiz, not Kwiz, that's my other one, that's my personal account, at Kev's Draw Along on Instagram or to at the Nerd Herd Comic Book Club on Instagram. Um, thank you for coming back and watching these videos. I know I had a break last week and very much needed i hope you all enjoyed your christmas holidays as well and are still enjoying them and you're looking forward to the new years and i will be back next week with another video so until then keep drawing bye bye